Shivers. Gilzine. And now Peters between the two of them. And a shot that is over the top. Giving the goal kick for Arsenal. But a good quick break there from Martin Peters. Armstrong. Good cross again towards Ray Kennedy. England again up above them all. Story, Gilzine. And the touch that finds John Pratt. Well, he was touch and go where the Chivers was offside, but the linesman kept his flag down, and Chivers, and well saved by Wilson at the second goal. Arsenal looking inquiringly at the linesman, and he must have adjudged that Chivers was fractionally onside. But maybe there was a push on the Arsenal defender, and that's why the free kick was given, but nonetheless, it was good work by Bob Wilson. Armstrong now to Rice. And again, the sight of Storey taking up a good position on that left-hand side of the field. And the linesman is flagging as ball goes in, and a marvellous tip over by Pat Jennings. But the linesman was flagging on the far side as he went in. But Jennings was not to know that. And that really was the sort of save that the football writers have voted for, making this man the not only the top goalkeeper in the country, but the top footballer. Still with Coates. Looking around for Knowles. Now Knowles. Chivers. Trying to come away from Simpson. And Simpson is marking Chivers so very closely. And it's with Coates again. That's not a bad cross towards Gilzine on the far side. Knocked down for Perryman. And really Perryman a little annoyed with himself, number eight, with that. Because that was beautifully nodded down for him by the great Gilzine. And Perryman really didn't quite make as much of that as he might have done. Chivers. Perryman, for once, his life a little too slow there. Robbed by Alan Ball. There's a good pass from Rice now to Armstrong. Chivers. That looked very much like shoulder to shoulder to me, but Ron Chalice was right there and has given Arsenal the free kick. So Chivers is penalised. Not standing yet, ten yards off the ball. Kelly wants to take the uh, free kick. Towards the far post, and a very good one, and a good one-handed catch by Pat Jennings. Those massive hands of his. Kennedy. Radford. Armstrong. Got Story now at the near post. The most forward player of all the Arsenal men. His story knows, getting himself out of trouble, running into trouble again, and overhead! Oh, and onto the top there from Pat Rice and behind. That was very nearly a goal out of the blue for Arsenal from Pat Rice. Perryman. Gilzine, a glancing header and a glancing header too by Chivers. Pratt right up there. Chivers to Peters, and now for Chivers and a great chance. And that is it. That is it by Martin Chivers. For Tottenham. Well, Spurs are delighted, remembering they were beaten at White Hart Lane by Arsenal. A nice one too, put Chivers completely in the clear. And from that sort of position, Chivers makes no mistakes. 1-0 to Spurs with 13 minutes of the second half gone. And now the importance of the afternoon really bearing down on Arsenal. A defeat here virtually ruins their championship chances with those four away games still to come and no more at home. But here's Armstrong. And here's Story. And he scored! Within a minute he scored! One run! Well, that was a tremendous comeback there by Arsenal. And the pass there left Storey completely in the clear. Jennings came out and he put it under Jennings' body. And we've got two goals in a minute. 1-1. One, Armstrong. And that time it's Perryman diving away, but uh, Miss Kewing, so it's gone to Armstrong again, onto the left foot, Lockley right in there, Mike England away, but only as far as Rice, and touched behind, I think by Martin Peters, but for the corner. 
So now Spurs, a bit of strain showing on their faces. They are the side under pressure. Because Arsenal bouncing back. 1-1. Carrying the fight again to Tottenham. Armstrong with the corner. Low and dangerous and Blockley. Armstrong now for Arsenal. That's a good cross there by him. And again, Pat Jennings just got in there with one hand as two players fall in a heap at the post. Radford and England crack themselves against each other and against the post. Story. Had a tremendous game, Peter Story. Chivers played on nicely there for Martin Peters. Coates is in the middle and Coates will come for this. That was a push surely by Rice. Apparently it wasn't, says the referee, and he was better placed. But certainly Coates went uh, diving to the ground. Good header there by Kennedy. And Radford is away now. Shadowed by Beal. Beautiful play by Radford. Oh, and a fine save by Jennings. Hit straight at him. And Jennings gathered it and caught it, but some beautiful play by Arsenal, by Kennedy, and then by Radford. Rice. Ball. Charlie George. Played nicely there by George for Armstrong. Looks like we might get quite a final flourish to this game as Armstrong turns it in once more. And Radford was right in there. Story is right up there. Coates! Oh, and that was almost an own goal by Mike England. But Jennings changed direction dramatically, and there was some pushing there as well. Rice for Blockley. And now for Ball. Oh, good play again by Alan Ball and by Arsenal as Armstrong takes it up once more for them. Kennedy and George are in the middle. Armstrong again. That's a much better cross. Kennedy right in there. Radford right in there. And Peters, hooking it so far back over his own head that I thought for a moment he was going to hook it into his own goal. 